GOP lawmakers in New Jersey want an immediate stop to offshore wind projects over growing concern about a spike in whale deaths. Since December alone, 32 dead whales have washed up on beaches along the East Coast. Republican state senators are asking for a 30 to 60 day pause on construction to see if it helps. Michael Testa is one of them and he joins us now. Uh, Representative, thanks for joining us this morning. So who exactly are the groups that or the people who would be opposing a 30 to 60 day very sensible pause to see what's going on with the whales? Well, it seems to be Orsted, who's the, you know, the company that wants to have the wind farms, uh, as well as the Sierra Club and Greenpeace, which makes absolutely no right. sense to me because I always thought that those were the groups that were there to protect the whales and to create bumper stickers that say, save the whales. And I think that they're being completely intellectually disingenuous here. We know that if this were an exploration for offshore oil drilling, mm. that if one whale carcass were to wash up on one of New Jersey's shores, they would be surrounding that carcass, holding hands with, you know, tears streaming down their face, singing Kumbaya. Yeah, so I'm old enough to remember when, you know, the Sierra Club and Greenpeace, I mean, their slogan was save the whales, for goodness sake, and now they're not joining forces. How do they explain, have you heard anything from these groups? What is their explanation for not wanting to see an environmental impact on whales? Well, their explanation is the reason that the whales and dolphins are washing up on our shores in record numbers is due to climate change. That's why we need to rush to erect these massive wind farms, which, you know, quite frankly, a lot of people have now testified and believe that are contributing to whales washing up on our shores in record numbers. But it's it's always their cry. This is their mantra. This is climate change. And if you ever question their green energy agenda, you're labeled a science denier, a climate yeah. change denier. And it yeah. just shows how despicable they really can be. Well, it's interesting that the whales started washing up after the turbines, the wind turbines went up, for, for one. Um, but also, it's easy to get scientific consensus when you've basically censored every scientist that has opposed climate change. Um, so that's, that's interesting as well. So it's not just the whales. Um, an estimated 140,000 to 328,000 bird deaths um, from collisions with, uh, collisions with the turbines. Um, we know that over 100... Um, eagles, for example, have died in the last year. So it's it's not just whales. These things have all kinds of impact. Absolutely. So we're not hearing much from the Audubon Society. We also have to really question what the environmental impact is going to be to our commercial fishing industry, yes. as well as our recreational fishing industry. And, and look, Cape May County, Atlantic County, Ocean County, and Monmouth County, tourism is the lifeblood, lifeblood of their summer economy. What are these wind farms going to do if whales and dolphins continue to wash up on our shores? We also don't know what you know the erection of these massive wind farms are going to do to our ocean floor and what type of environmental long long-term environmental impact that is going to have on our oyster business, scallop business. So it's it's, it's really been a rush to judgment, and as you eloquently stated, they have sort of suppressed any scientific evidence to the contrary. Yeah, and let's not, um, we, you talked about the environmental impact to tourism. I mean, they're also really ugly, and there's a reason why rich people like John Kerry and, and others have passed laws, so it's not in their backyard, um, but they're totally an eyesore as well. Well, Representative, I'm glad that you're trying to get to the bottom of this, um, but it's also exposing the hypocrisy of the so-called Green Movement and uh, the Sierra Club and others. So thanks for fighting um, for the whales. <laughs> Save the whales. Thank you. Thank you for having me, and it's purely not in my backyard mentality and, you know, rules for thee and not for me, as you stated about John Kerry and all of the others behind the Green Initiative. Yeah, thank you.